Well, good morning, everyone, and I hope you are having a blessed Monday. It's that time of the week again. Yes, yesterday was a very busy day. And wives have a lot to share with you next couple days. Some things I can say a lot about, and some things not so much, but I I can give a, a little hint, or a little, I can give a little idea about what's going on. Okay. Let me try these this way. If I can, they might go all over the place. So yesterday, we went filming. <laughs> that was pretty much a fail. Too thick and too bulky to try to do something like that. Yesterday, we went out filming. It was, it was, it was a good day. It was a good day. Um... We filmed uh, three different sites, and it was quite the adventure. I will tell you that. <laughs> you would not believe some of the stuff we we went through yesterday, and uh, it was fun. Dangerous sometimes, but fun. And, um, let's see, uh, I'll start editing on them soon and start getting them out to you. Maybe after, uh, I'm done here today, I'll, uh, get started on, uh, the first video. Because there will be, I figure, maybe about three, four, at least three, maybe four videos coming out of this. We did a lot of filming. And it was within a 20-mile range of us. And I've already talked about this, what, I, what we were going to do with some of you all. So... You already know, but I'm I'm not going to repeat it again in case in case you haven't heard. It's going to be a surprise now. Plus, I don't think I told everyone every place we was going. Um, let me see what else. Uh, now. I can't go into any detail here on this, but uh, yesterday, then afternoon, when I got back, I went into a group conference with uh, some other readers, okay, and... Uh, we're working on a project together that will be coming out here in the future. Last night was just a preliminary discussion on what we would be doing. And it's a very, very unique and cool concept. Something, something's been done to that effect before. But this, what we will be doing, will be unique as far as, uh, as far as we know. Oh, come on. Get in there. Jeez Louise, these cards.
Okay, I finally, I think that's good. I finally got that many done. And let's see what your card of the day will be. You have, oops, you have the Three of Swords, but it's reversed. Now this card is saying abstinence, loss, rejection, or regret. Now the Three of Swords, uh, its element is air. Its uh, astrological association is Saturn and Libra. Numerologically, it's the number three. The tree of life position is Bana, the sphere of understanding. And, of course, uh, heartbreak. Someone is going to break your heart. The clouds of doubt are cleared, and you can do nothing but face reality. This is a common card for relationship betrayal, and it can denote affairs or disloyalty in other areas, um, such as work relationships and business dealings. On a more positive note, though, you do get right to the heart of the matter. Any confusion is banished, and you are now in a position to move forward on from shock to begin the healing process and move forward. Sorry, that's my dog snoring. <laughs> in health, this three can relate to heart issues, which may need attention, such as blood pressure issues, uh, circulatory problems, uh, angina, and uh, very occasionally the need for surgery. Please note that this is a message to take care of the heart and safeguard the health. It is not a prediction of uh, a serious illness, though. When the Three of Swords uh, is reversed, the upset of the upright card is accompanied by quarrels and drama. And in a sense, uh, despite of the upheaval, this card gives a more positive meaning than that of the upright card. Um, at least the feelings are expressed and some of the confusion and pain is uh, shared and released. And those around you will understand your need to vent. Right. Today I have that calling to do a, a rune pull. Something saying, pull me. So, uh. Shake them up good. Okay. Now let's do a pull. Okay. Now, uh, this is Kanaz. Um, for what it's worth, it re is represented by the color yellow. Um, now this is a rune of knowledge, understanding, learning, and teaching, and it allows us to view situations with more clarity than we normally would. Um, and it's, it's kind of like, uh, a meaning, uh, a beacon, a torch, or perhaps an ulcer. But uh, mostly, uh, it represents knowledge and understanding. It's based on the Norse symbol of fire, which represents the home fires burning when fertility is possible. It's not the destructive side of fire, but rather the warmth and comfort fire can afford. It's a protective rune, indicating a time of lessening of worries and troubles, as well as heightened creativity, passion, and personal power. As a rune of fertility, it may appear to be casting to indicate a birth, either literally or figuratively, um, such as the birth of an idea, a concept. Um, 
something like that. So what, what this is saying then is that, yes, you're going to go through this period of heartache, of pain and everything, but uh, it's going to be a teaching tool for you. You will, will learn from this and move on. Um, perhaps in your knowledge and understanding too, you might be able to help someone else who's going through the same thing as you went through too. So if that comes along, if that opportunity comes along, please don't hesitate. I would definitely try to help them out if you can. So despite this bad news, a little something good's going to come from it. All right. Sorry, it was kind of a bad one, but uh, you know how these readings go. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Uh, oh, the bulbs that I forced are uh, really doing good. And I will be giving you an update. I think I'll wait another day or two so you all can see the the finished results. Because, yeah, it's coming along that fast. But anyway, that's all I have to talk about today. Um, very soon I'm going to do a steals and deals again. So keep your eye out for that. And as I said before... I see a giveaway in your future. <laughs> yes, there will be a giveaway coming up. The exact details of that I haven't gotten yet. And also there'll be uh, probably, I'm hoping to get out a... Uh, the, the reading, individual reading session uh, this month. I only have a week, and it's going to be a very busy week, but uh, I'll see if I can't get to those too. I might not be able to do it this month, but I'll get to those as soon as possible, if not this month and early next month, but uh, I'm going to really try. Anyway, you all have a, a blessed Monday. Take care. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, bye-bye.